Hi everyone, welcome to How Inez Rolls. We're on our way into, Wal into Winco to get some things for us to show you our very first installment of a grilling series. So I'm gonna be showing you some very basic um, sides for barbecue. So let's get started. Hi Azzy, you like this shirt? my shirt and it's only for a limited time so if you're interested you'll have to go to the link in the bio I mean in the description box <laughs> so let's go in and go get our food and then we'll talk a little bit more what do we have here? some corn we're gonna make something special with the corn on the barbecue they have the corn husks still on them they're nice and fresh so we're just getting some other things that are not just for our barbecue. Don't, oh, that was what Ezra wanted. <laughs> but we're also picking up some stuff for um, lunches this week too for the kids. So Paul's over there picking out some really good meats. So looks like he found some. Ezra's being my helper and we have a lot of stuff going on here. But we did get some couple things for the week. So it wasn't just for our barbecue. Just spent about a hundred more dollars than I was planning, but I did buy some groceries, so I'll have to do a bigger haul in the future. But you'll see what we're going to be doing and planning for our barbecue, it'll be so good. So, Paul and I are both here now to start showing you what we're doing to get ready for some friends coming over for a barbecue. He is so much taller than me, so I can barely get him, and I'm like. So Paul is almost 6'3", and I'm 5'5", in case you're wondering. So you can see right behind me here, we've just unloaded some pork that our friends brought over last night. And um, Paul's going to put some marinade on it, or some rub, right? Rub. Okay, so he's going to be doing that, I'm getting some chicken ready. Um, and so we'll just show you what we're doing. So this is a rub that Paul made, right, Paul? It is. So what is in there? Uh, paprika, brown sugar, Garlic salt, garlic pepper, or no, garlic salt, onion salt, cayenne pepper, ground, ground black pepper, and uh, coarse salt, coarse kosher salt. And they could just probably look online for like a, a recipe for a rub, but the uh, brown sugar really makes it good. Yeah, it's basically a half cup paprika, half cup brown sugar, then a tablespoon of everything else I said. Okay. So after Paul is sprinkling it with all that the seasoning, he's gonna rub it in and then put it aside. So that way it can marinate those flavors into the meat and it'll be perfect for when he starts to grill. So he's pretty busy. Since Paul's outside getting the grill ready with the pellets and all of that stuff, using Traeger, you need to use like pellets for smoking and all that yum stuff. So that's, I'll show you more when I go outside, but I'm going on making a quintessential side for barbecue and that is barbecue beans. So what I'm gonna do is chop up some green peppers and then just kind of soften them up in the pan just a tiny bit because I'm going to be pretty much making a barbecue sauce. It's kind of my favorite barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna show you that and I'll be making sure that the recipe is in the description below so that way you can see the, all the, the measurements and um, just get that going for the oven. So I'm, all I'm doing is just softening up the bell, bell peppers and just kind of mixing this in. So this recipe um, is a lot like my, my mother-in-law's barbecue sauce recipe, which is a cup of ketchup, a half a cup of brown sugar, and then a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. Honestly, the best uh, barbecue sauce and super easy. And um, this is a lot like that. So. Um, we're gonna be adding the beans and the bacon and then pretty much cooking it low. So I've already got two batches of this. Um, so I'll have the recipe for just the one, but you know, nine by 13 pan or like a kind of a deeper dish, that will be perfect. And you can see I put some bacon, I'm gonna cover it in foil, bake it at 350 for about 30 to 45 minutes, just so that it's nice and warm and cooked through. And they are already smelling so good. So Paul right now is making um, his Hasselback potatoes and he made those for Mother's Day? Yes. They were so good. So let me show you, cause I wanted to show you a little more step by step. 
Do you see how he has something on both sides of the potato? That is his way of marking so the, the knife won't go all the way through. And he is just making little slits all the way across, just like that. Oh, like, let me show you, let me show that. Awesome. So having those little spoons there are probably perfect for him to guide. Love it. So let's, I'm gonna get a pan ready, right? And a baking sheet. Yes. So we have all of the potatoes that we need. Paul's just spreading them out a little bit and we're just using some butter to coat them. And then just adding some seasoning to that. We have a veggie rub, but you could use any seasonings you'd like, especially salt and pepper, uh, maybe some cayenne, um, garlic powder. You can make a little blend and it would be delicious on here. So the seasoning's gonna really give it that kick. The butter is going to give it the crust and it is so good. So I'm just helping, I'm checking up with Paul. These are thighs, right? Yeah, these ones are going to be for the, uh, the skewers. Yeah, we're going to make kind of like a shish kebab of sorts. And then... Uh, so you're just kind of giving it a little bit of a grill to, you know, make sure it's fully cooked. And then we're just going to give it a final, like, cook on with the vegetables, right? Is that how we're doing that? Yeah, so it'll be cooked all the way through. And then... When, It'll have time to cool down. We'll cut the vegetables, put them on the skewers, and we'll just use the grill to mm -hmm. heat those back up. I think I've had too many experiences There's where... Oh, see. yeah, I want to see the pork. Oh, yes. So... He that, injects it with apple juice? Yeah, so before I put the pan on, I have it on the grill getting warm and getting the crust on, getting the bark. And then I put uh, apple juice with the same rub. So apple juice and the rubs kind of mixed together. I inject it. Okay, so let's show them like what that injectable looks like. Do you have that out here? Uh, it's in the, I put this in current. Okay, so that's the injectable. That's yeah, the so needle. I, just, I fill the mason jar about. Sorry, the sink, you guys, were just like, it was clean to begin with. <laughs> so I fill the mason jar about halfway full with uh, apple juice and then put okay. some of the rub in there. And then stir it up and sucked it into the syringe and it injected into the meat. And where could they find a syringe like that? Um, well, this is kind of an older one. But like a barbecue, like yeah. their barbecue aisle maybe? Uh -huh. Okay. So I've had too many experiences, like even maybe when I was growing up or just even when my adult life, that I just felt like when the meats were together on the skewers for shish kebabs, that it just felt questionable in um, cookness and wellness. So this way we know they're gonna be done and the only thing that needs to cook will be when we break down some peppers and onions and those will cook super fast. And it'll be, oh, and pineapple. And they'll be delicious. So things are coming along uh, very well in the kitchen right now. Paul's still outside watching the grill and I am now just in like sides mode, right? So I am making some French bread and I just wanted to show you a little bit about what that looks I'm just like. I'm putting about three quarters of a stick of butter and then I'm adding a little bit of Parmesan on it and it looks like this. Just nice and toasted, delicious for everybody and we have three loaves of French bread but I'm still thinking, I'm not sure if that's enough because <laughs> kids love the bread, am I right? So I thought we could check on Paul right now and how the meat's looking. Look good. Looking good, a little smoky out here. I'm gonna transfer it over to the Traeger in a minute. Okay, so he just kind of gave it a little grill. The Traeger here is gonna give it a, like it's low and low. Yeah, yeah I wanna, wow, that is looking so good. So he has these little needles in there that tell the temperature. So he has them in about four of them. And so we need it to have an internal temperature of 165, so if, if you're like new to barbecuing or if you're in, it's still seasoned in barbecuing, this is a really handy tool to help you and it tells you it's got like all the little cheat codes on the side. It's only 20 bucks at Walmart. I wish that trigger was 20 bucks at Walmart. Okay. All right, look at that pork. Oh my gosh, that's just gonna fall apart, huh? That's the plan. Oh, I wish we had rolls. We have bread. No, we have slices of bread. <laughs> like tiny slices, but look at that. Man, you're like a master griller. Was there any question? <laughs> so now Paul is over here making some skewers with just some yummy pineapple and some onions and bell peppers. So that will take very, very minimal time on the grill, right? Yeah, it's just got to warm up the 
the veggies. On the there. veggies, and so he's just using some thigh meat over there that he's already grilled. So now we're gonna take care of these Hasselback potatoes. Um, the oven is now at 425, in which it will bake for 45 minutes. I'll take it out and put a little bit of Parmesan on it and I'll show you. But into the oven they go. All right, so these are all done. All we need to do is put a little bit of Parmesan and we're gonna be eating those. They are so good. The outside's nice and crispy and Paul made those for my Mother's Day and they were delicious. Okay, so here we go. Here's the potatoes. They have like a nice little crunch. We have our bread. And then the thighs, they have bone in there and skin, so I think that'll be just good like that. Okay, so this butter, or this is a bacon butter on some corn, so you can just cook corn how you'd like, but smother it in bacon, or uh, yeah, bacon butter, delish. Look at how these beans turned out. It's delicious, I can't wait to have them. Here's some chicken. Somebody brought some mac and cheese, and then here's our skewers and pork. Delicious, I can't wait to eat. And um, Paul's chopping up this carne asada. So, yeah, um. So that's it, you guys. We just finished a very fun-filled day with yummy barbecue, and our friends, of course, loved it. Um, what was your favorite part of the, the meal? What do you think, Ez? Uh, the meat and the corn. The corn. Now, we didn't really show that, but too much of that. Paul grilled that on... I didn't have any corn. <laughs> you didn't eat any corn? No, just I didn't either. that I didn't. I didn't have any corn either. I heard people liked it, though. There, we still have some left over. I How liked funny. it. You liked it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really hope that you guys like this grilling installment of How Inez Rolls. We are going to be doing some other fun things, like you have some good ideas in the future? Yeah, he <laughs> we have some good stuff coming your way, so. I'm full of something. Oh, stop. <laughs> He's a great griller and he has great ideas. So we're gonna close it out tonight and uh, we're glad that you stopped by. Give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't clicked subscribe, we'd love to have you along. So we're gonna try to have these out every Friday for as long as we have recipes for them, huh? <laughs> so come back, see us, and stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next.